welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I wanted to talk about whether or not you should marry someone from a different race. Now this is a complicated question because the answer is yes and no. It really depends on you and it depends on the person that you're thinking about marrying. To start off I'm going to start with the positives that I see in marrying someone from a different race and then I'll share the other side as well. So first off, I think marrying someone from a different race can be a positive thing because it really exposes you to different cultures and different ways of life. Even if you're both from the same country but you're of different races, you've likely grown up in different neighborhoods, different traditions, just different family foundations. And so marrying across races allows you to experience all of those things that somebody else's family and culture and heritage gives to them that you may not have experienced in your own life. And that, I feel like, can really enrich your own life. Mom. My son agrees. <laughs> and on top of getting to experience a new culture and different ways of life from your spouse's family background, when you two come together and get married, you have the opportunity to form a new family culture that is a blend and a mix of both of the traditions that you come from. And I think that just adds a lot of diversity and beauty and just creativity to your family rather than just looking at family as, well, my family has always done it this way, and so that's exactly how I'm going to have my family do things as well. You get to create a totally new family dynamic, and I think that's beautiful. The next benefit of marrying someone from a different race is the kids. Generally speaking, kids in biracial families are beautiful. I mean, all children are beautiful, but I think that biracial children can be exceptionally beautiful. I mean, look at this little guy. And also, from a genetic standpoint, they tend to be healthier just because the, the genes that are coming together are so diverse that it creates a stronger child. For example, um, when my husband and I were planning to get married, we had to have genetic testing done in Jordan before the country would permit us to get married. And that's because in Jordan, it's more common for people to, to marry relatives or to marry within the same culture. Um, not not everyone obviously but by and large Jordanians marry other Jordanians and it's a smaller country and so the likelihood of genetic conditions occurring for their children is somewhat higher because the gene pool is more similar it was kind of silly that my husband and I had to cause we definitely weren't related and we were very had a very slim chance of having any genetic conditions with our children but we did the testing anyways and look what we ended up with and the next one is that I think it just expands your worldview. If you have always lived in one way of thinking and seen the world from, like in, in my case, I've always seen the world from a white female perspective, a white American female perspective. And by marrying my husband, I am daily exposed to Jordanian culture and way of life and way of thinking and language and just it really diversifies my way of thinking and expands my horizon and it will do the same for our children and along with expanding my own worldview marrying someone from a different race has also expanded the worldview of my family and for my husband's family so my family had all sorts of ideas about people from the Middle East, about Jordan, about Arab culture and relationships, and my husband's family had different stereotypes about Americans and American women and what life in America is like. And so by the two of us marrying and sharing our experiences with our families, our families are now having their worldview expanded and maybe throwing out some of the incorrect generalizations and stereotypes that they may have had about each of our cultures and countries. Unfortunately, there are some negatives to marrying someone from a different race. It's likely that you'll probably experience some discrimination or prejudice from people who look at you and your family and 
just dislike it for their own immature reasons and and that can be hard to experience to see people hurting you or your loved ones or especially your children biracial children sometimes have a harder time of figuring out what their identity is because they're from two cultures. Sometimes they feel like they don't really fit in either completely, and, and that can be difficult. But I think that can be also a stretching and growing experience for those kids. And I think in interracial relationships, you have to expect that communication is going to be more difficult. This may be because you're from different countries and have different first languages, but it could also just be that you're from two different ways of life, two different frameworks of thinking, and so the way that you see the world differently can be hard to communicate to the other person and it just takes extra work on both sides for you to see how the other person is experiencing the world compared to how you are experiencing and seeing the world around you. I'm a huge fan of interracial marriages. I think it just comes down to you have to choose the right person. You've got to choose somebody that you love for who they are and not how they look. Don't marry someone just because they're from a different race and you think that's interesting or attractive, you need to choose someone that you truly want to spend the rest of your life with them because of who they are as a person. And just expect that to have a successful marriage, you're going to have to work hard, be flexible, be willing to compromise, and experience a lifetime of learning. But in the end, an interracial marriage can be a huge blessing to you, your spouse, your family, and to the world in general. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below about any other positives or negatives that you see about interracial marriages, and let's have a conversation about it. And thanks for watching, and until next time.